like this is the best I'm gonna get. Um, yeah, I just woke up. Uh, let's see here. Well, I think it's recording. Um, uh, a little piece of news. It's Monday morning, and I'm obviously not in my car. I'm at my son's trailer. And, uh, uh, I, uh, was at the park yesterday with the swans, uh, spent a lot of time there, turned on the car a couple times to cool off, got out, sat at the picnic table, I was there for several hours, and, uh, when I went to leave, the car wouldn't start. So, I called, uh, my roadside assistance service. And I figured it was the battery, because I don't know anything about cars. And uh, came out, and he said, your battery's fully charged. You have a mechanical problem. So I um, called again, and they said, where do you want to take it? And I said, to a mechanic. And they were very helpful. <laughs> and I'd never done it before. And uh, she said, well, I need an address. And I said, well, don't you just have a mechanic. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so she said, call me back when you have an address. And, she, and so uh, I put a post out on my little town Facebook page, and uh, but my daughter had messaged me and said, what you doing today? And I said, I'm at the park and the car won't start. And it turned out she was at the park also with her uh, uh, family. And uh, so they came over and they... Uh, got me towed, and it, I was pretty upset at first. I thought, I've been evicted, <laughs> you know? That was the feeling I had, like, I'm losing my house. They're taking my house away. And, uh, um, but then uh, I realized that you can't evict me because I still own my house. So it's more like when they tent your house, like, because it's full of, uh, I don't know, stuff. And they tent it, and you have to leave it for a little while. But you get to come back when they're done. So that's the way I'm looking at it. And uh, so I don't know what's going on. They said it could be a timing belt, and it could be a lot of money, or it could be not quite as much as a lot. But uh, I have to wait today and give them a call and find out what it is. So I'm on delay. I don't know if I'm going to lose my job that I got that I really liked because uh, obviously I can't get there today and depending on how long it's going to take them to fix it, you know, I don't know how long they'll hold the job for me. If it's just one day, I think I'll be safe. But uh, the other problem is I <laughs> still have no money, so uh, I don't know if they'll give me the car back without paying them first. Um, it is a friend of my son-in-law's and my daughter's, so she she said they'll probably be very um, uh, work with me as far as even making payments. But I don't even have the first payment to give them right now, so I don't know what's going to happen. But I just thought I'd update you on what I don't know. Isn't that thoughtful of me? So anyway, um, uh, I'll give you more updates, but. For now, I'm uh, in the trailer, waiting to see what's going to happen. But, you stay positive, you work with what you got, and you keep going forward like um, extravagant minimalist. Thank you. The saying is, uh, ever forward, never backwards. That's the saying that she gave me, and I like that, ever forward, never backward. So, we're moving forward. Um, <laughs> I just don't know when yet. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's just a slight delay, I'm sure. 
once I get my check, it's weird getting a check only once a month. That's why I really wanted this other job. It was going to pay me every week. It'd be like when I was a waitress. I lived on my tips, and my main check went into savings. But this is going to be the other way around, probably, eventually. Okay, so I'll keep you updated, but for now I'm, I'm stuck in sticks and bricks. And uh, just waiting it out, see how long I have to be here. Have a good day, follow your bliss, and uh, ever forward, guys. Bye.